Well, I hope you brought your appetite back from that commercial break. On this month's Feasting on Agriculture, our very own A.J. Sabine drives up to Shreveport for a taste of blue with Louisiana crawfish satisfying his and our comfort food fix. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, welcome to another exciting episode of Feasting on Agriculture. This month, we're in Shreveport at Blue Southern Comfort, where every dish is like a hug. Let's get inside and get cooking. Joining us now is Chef Carolyn Simmons from Blue Southern Comfort mm -hmm. and want to thank you for having us here at your restaurant. What are we making today, Chef? Today we're going to make a uh, crispy skin trout and we're going to put a crawfish um, cream topping on top of it. I cannot wait. You've uh, kind of talked about the recipe and I know there's rosemary in it, so there's I'm really rosemary. looking forward to it. Right. And, and do you want me to kind of give you the history of the recipe real quick? Sure. Okay. We have a comfort food restaurant and people kept wanting a fried fish and I'm not a fan of fried food at all. So what I did is I took a trout with the skin on it mm -hmm. and I heat the oil up and I fry that skin so it gives them a crunch so they feel like they're getting fried fish but they're actually getting a very healthy fish and it's a, it's a rainbow trout and then we have to include some Louisiana crawfish on top of it. Absolutely, let's get started. Okay, cool. Alright, the first thing we need to do is because we use, we grow our own rosemary and a lot of our own herbs out front and we use a lot of rosemary, but we have to chop it up. So I pulled it off, and you know, I don't feel like chopping, I'm gonna let you. So what I want you to do is take this and just chop it up a little bit finer, okay? And we're gonna well, use this on good. our trout. It's, it's such a fragrant herb. You know, that's the thing I love about rosemary, is it's so fragrant. I mean, it's like a perfume. Isn't there some like uh, Wikipedia thing that Egyptians used to use rosemary for perfume or something? I think the Egyptians used it for a lot of stuff. It was part of their embalming too. You know, you hear they try to make everything smell good. Well, yeah. I mean, in that particular, you know, and, and yeah, and it's, I it's think, not like the pyramid was enough. I mean, right, you gotta right, have right. perfume to go and, with and it. So, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Here, there, his perfume. I'm perfumed well, with thank rosemary. You. Okay, thank now you. you'll smell good all day. Now all the ladies of Shreveport will follow me wherever I go. <laughs> That's exactly. Well, they would do that anyway. I don't think you have to worry about that. Well, thank you, Carolyn. So how, 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 okay, how that, small do you want me to that, get down that on? That is absolutely perfect. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now that we've got that, we also, you know, we put this on at the end. It doesn't give it a lot of chance to um, give it much flavor. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken some olive oil, and I had already pre-chopped a little bit, and uh, I heated it up, and then I let it sit and seep, and it's been sitting here for about 45 minutes. So this olive oil has the flavor of rosemary. Oh, great. Each morning, we start the morning making a shrimp stock with our shrimp shells after we peel our shrimp. Now, a shrimp stock isn't that, isn't that hard to make. It's basically uh, the shrimp shells. And like we cook the shrimp shells in butter uh -huh. and in garlic. And then once they turn pink, then we add um, chicken broth to them uh -huh. and we add some Great Raft beer. There's a local brewery called Great Raft. We put some of their beer in it, put a little Worcestershire sauce, we squeeze some um, lemon Can juice. Can I just take that by itself? For yeah, here, you, you would just have soup from it. <laughs> and then we put a little bit of green onion and we simmer it. And then when we strain it, this is the end result. You have a wonderful, wonderful origin story. Tell folks about how you got your start at the, at the farmer's market. Well, I wanted to be a chef when I was younger, and um, I became an economist, and then I became a real estate agent, and at 56, I, my business kind of fell apart, the economy went bad, and I lost everything. So I said, you know, it's time to do what I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So I started selling food at the farmer's market, and I started over. And people would buy my food and they start saying, hey, will you come cater this party, will you do this? So I'm 60 years old now and I'm on my second restaurant and I'm about to open another restaurant, all from just four years ago saying, I'm going to live my dream and do what I want to do. Why is it important for you to partner with you know, farmers like Craig Smith from Smith Family Farmers? Why is well, that important to you? I think because I started over and created a small local business I want other small local businesses to thrive. So about half of what we sell here comes from local vendors, local ranchers, local farmers. And I always tell my customers, when you eat at Blue, 
you're helping our local ranchers and farmers survive. What we're doing here is we've got the heavy cream from Flowing Hills Creamery and I've got some herbs in it and I'm reducing it and then I took my shrimp stock and I added some ground tomatoes. There's, these tomatoes don't have any salt, they don't have anything in there, it's 100% tomato. And I'm reducing that together. We're going to take some of this rosemary infused olive oil and we're going to put some butter in it because butter makes everything taste better. And I'm going to put my trout in inside down. Oops. I know, it's always easier when no one's watching you. <laughs> and see how my trout is starting to turn white around the edges? Mm -hmm. When it's mainly white, but a little bit of pink up top, at that point, sorry, at that point it's going to be done. But I've also got my heat turned down to medium. So we no longer need high. And I'm going to add the cream. The this. cream smells wonderful, by the way. You can smell the herbs right off the top. I mean, it's got a beautiful oniony, rosemary note as soon as you pour it into the, the tomato base. So I'm going to take these Louisiana crawfish and I'm going to pour them into this sauce. And they're going to take about two minutes to cook in the sauce. You know, you mentioned Louisiana crawfish. Folks can go to crawfish.org and have cr fresh Louisiana crawfish delivered right to their door. Really? Yes. That is yes. really cool. Remember, this oil has a lot of rosemary flavor, so we don't want to lose that flavor. You see, I'm basting the top of this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip it with my keeper. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to flip it as soon as there's just a little line of pink left, okay? Okay. So right now, we're just going to keep basting it. I like I doing have... these segments, Chef, because I get to work. I get to learn get different to techniques. What you do is you're going to hold on to this and you're going to see how long this is like the fish. Yes. So you're going to stick it under the fish and you're going to flip it quickly. And then you're going to flip the other one. How's my technique, yeah, you, Chef? Yeah, let me show you. What you do is you actually start at one end and you go underneath it. So you're lifting more of the fish so it's less likely to break. Ah. And then the minute it flips, it's actually done. Really? Because we were pretty much done before. So putting it that last moment in hot oil is letting it finish up. You see? That's pretty. And here's our fried underneath. Look at this sauce. We're going to take this amazing sauce with the rosemary and the crawfish and all the herbs in it. There you have it, folks. This beautiful Louisiana crawfish and trout dish. Stick around. We'll be right back. You know, folks, one of the telltale signs of an eat fresh, eat local restaurant is an herb garden. Chef Carolyn Simmons grows her own rosemary, and this is some of the same rosemary I cut up not long ago. And speaking of cutting up, let's get inside and cut up some of that trout with Chef Carolyn. Now, folks, you all know this is my favorite part of the Feasting on Air and Culture <laughs> segment. Chef, I want to thank you again. Where do I start? This looks absolutely beautiful. Well, you you're going to have some with me, aren't you? Of course, of course. If I wouldn't cook it if I didn't love it. What you want to do is you want to grab a bite, cut some trout, make okay. sure you get some of that great Louisiana crawfish in there. and You can hear the crunch from that skin, mm -hmm. which we talked about. I'm going to get some of this crawfish on here. Definitely get some crawfish. Because this smells really good. You can smell that rosemary, too. Mmm. White, flaky sweet with the crawfish. Very good. You got to have some. You gotta oh, have some. You gotta oh yes, I'll this. try it. So good. Let me cut it real quick. There you go. That crispy skin, you can't cut it. I know, I got, I got some nice stuff. Yeah, soap. you got some wine, so you cut the blue, it will help you get your food down. Mm. Mm. That's fantastic. That's, that's fantastic. Well, Chef Carolyn Simmons from uh, Blue and Southern Comfort, I want to say thank you very much for having us. Thank you. It's been such a pleasure. Oh, it's our pleasure. Believe me. And uh -huh. if you folks at home want more information about Blue or Louisiana crawfish, you can always log on to our website at twilighttv.org. That's it for this Feasting on Agriculture. We'll see you next time. Feasting on Agriculture with A.J. Sabine was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. 
by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner.